this morning, it's a little icy north and west of Boston. It's not the main roads. It's not the highways. It's generally the secondary roads. Anything untreated, you guys, sidewalks, driveways, things like that. The good news is the bulk of the steadiest precipitation is done. You can see on the satellite and radar here. So the key this morning is to watch the temperature closely. Look at Boston. We're at 37. No problems with icing. Same in Norwood. Same for the South Shore and Cape, where we're 35 to 40 degrees this morning. You zoom in north and west of town, though, and that's where we've got a little bit of an issue, okay? So places like the Merrimack Valley, places like southern New Hampshire, hyperlocal temperatures on here, Wyndham, Derry, Londonderry, Plastow, stretching down through Pelham and Hudson, all right around that magical 32 degree mark. Same for the Route 2 quarter. Same for places like Natick and Wellesley, too. We're hovering right around the freezing mark. So just be mindful of that as you head out the door this morning. Steady rain, wipers on, south shore back down to the Cape right now. That will continue over the next couple of hours and then eventually push off so shore. It's a little wave of low pressure that's going by this morning. Next round is back to our south and west, but this comes with a little push of mild air. So we do not have to worry about icing for tonight and tomorrow. So hour by hour, I think we rise above freezing by about 9, 30, 10 o'clock in central Massachusetts. It's a slow process. Steady rain is done by mid-morning on the Cape, and then we're just cloudy, and kind of damp and dreary, 35 to 40 this afternoon, an isolated shower from time to time. After midnight tonight, that's when the rain fills back in. It'll be steady rain at times tonight into early tomorrow. So the morning commute tomorrow will be impacted. We won't have to be tracking ice, but there will be areas of rain and a couple of downpours that will push through from west to east. Mid-morning, 9.30, still raining. So it is kind of a damp start to the day. By midday, rain is wrapping up. The sun breaks out. We go 50 to 55 tomorrow afternoon. So it actually turns into a really nice second half of the day. The wind's going to kick up as well, and the much colder airs to follow that. So areas of rain tonight, some patchy fog as well. Overnight lows kind of steady, right around upper 30s to near 40 degrees. Tomorrow, after the morning rain, the sun breaks out. Temperatures climb into the 50s for many of us. Notice southern New Hampshire all the way back down to the south coast. We'll be near 50 on Cape Cod as well. Upper 40s from the Worcester Hills to southwest New Hampshire. Totally different feel on Saturday, though. And in fact, Friday late in the day into Saturday, the wind's going to really kick up, too. So highs around 30 on Saturday. But the wind chill on Saturday is going to be in the teens to lower 20s. So blustery and much colder Sunday. Less wind, temperatures in the mid-30s, Monday mid-30s as well. And then Tuesday and Wednesday is when we're watching the next potential disturbance. Could it start as a wintry mix later on Tuesday and then change over to rain as we see some milder air coming in back into the 40s on Wednesday.